welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number and the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Hurricanes and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Five wide. Tackle made at the 48. We've got a change at the quarterback position. You've got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. First and ten. Ball on the 48. And he's taken down right around the 50. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Steps up. He airs it out. Caught by the sophomore, and they make the stop around the 12 yard line. So, what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Defense stacked in tight here. He's in there. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. throw out to the receiver. Tackle around the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 37. Wow, that was 
close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. From their own 37-yard line, first down. He might have a chance. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings us second and nine. it out to about the 37 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He rifles it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. The punt goes out of bounds at the two-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the seventh. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. That's a great tackle at the 21-yard line. First down. the 32-yard line from their own 32-yard line first down he makes it to the 35-yard line yard line first down. an exciting first quarter comes to an end seven nothing hurricane welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter Gets out to about the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Gets it. He's in space. 
Brought down at the 43. Here's the eighth play of the series. Excellent job here by the defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And he tackles him hard at the 32. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Pitch out, got the corner. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked down. That's a game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We're at the 12th play of the drive. <laughs> Tackle made at the four yard line. That makes it second and It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They're packed in tight on the line. He is drilled at the five-yard line. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Pitch is left and is met immediately. They're going to go for the easy three here. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. It's up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. And it's a short kickoff. Hollis takes it at the 20, and down he goes at the 30. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. for a loss. I tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler and he showed it right there. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down at the 42. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out. He's met immediately. They lose four there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense just met the blockers head-on and drove them back straight into the runner. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Throws it deep. 
That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Cronin is waiting for the snap. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. He showed a good burst there. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Inside the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 21. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Inside the 10. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Takes it at the 20. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. That's four yards on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Intercepted by the senior cornerback. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's to the 40. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. The Hurricanes lead it by 17. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because the quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. The guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand-in-hand hand because I... You can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field where the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds, but it works the other way around, too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, 
I can't get there in time. So the, t the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Hurricanes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There's a very impressive open field tackle. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. First and ten, all in the 48. Breaks away from one, and now he's got the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a gain of four on the way. That'll make it second and seven. Man left, man left. Makes it out to about the 30. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 30-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes it to the 11. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings him second. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. a run all the way got a good jump once he got there he wasn't about to let him slip away either. second down and goal ball on the 11 and he's tackled just outside the goal line here's the 12th play of the drive Loud as 
way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's taken down at the 28. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Here's the line. Here's the line. Third two, third two. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Incomplete intended for his wideouts. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Five wide. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Quick strike to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He's to the 40, and down he goes at the 45. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That brings up second and 13. Tackle at the 45 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Makes the catch and look out. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. So at the end of three, the Hurricanes in front, 17-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. yard line the defense holds and the ball will change hands and the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop he's at the 40 they'll bring him down at the 33 yard line First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 33-yard line. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Brought down at about the 17-yard line. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. First and 10. Ball on the 17. Around the 14-yard line. That makes it second and six. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third. They're about four yards away here on third down. Knocked out of bounds around the 10-yard line. That brings us over three. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. seen the end of the fireworks today the offense is in desperation mode and the defense is thinking guys one more stop and we can get out of here with a win we're about set to start things up again five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun he steps out at about the 35 a five-yard gain not a bad play they gain five yards out of it and keep moving the defense back from their own 35-yard line Second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, sure tackle on the ball carrier. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Here we go. Quick throw. He's to the 40, and he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's on the run. And they make the stop at about the 45. Scrambling. Good tackle there in space. From the 43 yard line. Second down. And he's immediately tackled over the middle to his tailback. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Stepping up. Here's a quick throw, and he can't hang on to it. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's got all day. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. Well, the last drive was good for three. But I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. He's into the open field. 
He makes his way to about the 38. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Just under two minutes in the game. Runs right for a nice game. Six yards there on the counter. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes it to the 32-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. The Lobos using their third and last timeout. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and a, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get. And that's into the end zone. He fights forward to about the 26. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. They got him for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. The Hurricanes coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.